Hello fellow Slowpoke enthusiast and welcome back to another video. Great news. I have just received in the mail today my 15 card PSA send off. So this send off was when I first renewed my PSA subscription. So there isn't a video of me packing up all of these cards, but I thought that since I have the channel, I might as well show you what I got here. I have some amazing cards, some stuff that I, I just didn't think was going to get the grades um, that they did, and things that I can't believe I have in my collection right now. So I'm very excited to jump into these 15 cards and show you what I have. Uh, a lot of them will be up for sale or up for trade. I haven't really determined yet which cards I want to keep. Um, but I'm very excited to show these all to you and give YouTube the first look at these cards. You notice behind me, I just uh, set up my PSA display uh, as kind of a backdrop. I, I thought that I should kind of start trying to make this look a little cooler. So there it is. It's perched there very uh, precariously. It's, it, it might fall at any moment. So here's hoping that it makes it through the entire video. Without further ado, let's jump into these 15 cards. So here it is, uh, accompanied by my Japanese Reshizard back there that I just got in a trade. Very excited to pick that up. We will go through these uh, 15 cards. I will show you them, let you know what I thought they were going to grade, and just give you my initial impressions of, of how this send off went. So, first card. We have a PSA 9 first edition Rocket Zapdos Hollow. Crazy story about this card. I had one that I thought was in really, really good condition, but one of my followers on Instagram was looking to complete a first ed gym, um, gym challenge set, so I sold it to them for a really good price so they can complete their set. I was a little bit sad because I thought it had a chance at a nine or a 10, uh, but as time went on, I found another one and here it is. So very exciting. I thought that this card had a good chance at getting a nine or a 10 and here it is showing off its nine. Really great card, great artwork and happy to have it in my collection. Next, a PSA 9 Giovanni's Nido King. <laughs> I am so excited that this gym, that these gym cards scored so highly. Uh, it's they're so expensive, and I worked so hard to try to find these cards in good condition, and you know, spent a little bit out of my budget to get them, and it it, it is rewarding to see that they have gotten such high grades. This card's beautiful. I I did see that it had a tiny little scratch up in the top left. Um, and it was noticeable, but I didn't think that it was noticeable enough or big enough to really affect the grade too badly. Uh, it has a little whitening down in the bottom left here, but I think if you are so caught up in sending out a perfect card, you'll miss a lot of stuff like these that are getting nine. So awesome, Nido King, love him. Next, Giovanni's Gyarados, PSA 9. Crazy enough, I had sold one of these, a similar story to the Zapdos. I was selling a bunch of these gym hollows for like 18, 22, 25, and I was telling people, you know, I think that they can get nines. And a few of the people who follow me on Instagram had a problem with that saying, well, you shouldn't guarantee grades, but I wasn't. I was just kind of saying like, I think it has a good chance of getting a nine. And it came from the same pickup as the rest of these nines. So it looks like whoever bought those, actually Jake at Gengar Master, uh, is probably in possession of a nine of uh, the Gyarados right now. So, you know, I don't want to, I don't want it to seem like I'm guaranteeing grades, but I, I'm trying to give you my best um, idea of what I think it's worth, you know, and want you to be informed on what you're buying. So I, that's why I give the grades, not to, uh, that's why I, you know, guess the grades, not to make you buy something that's in worse condition, but to let you know what you are getting. So, here we go. Ooh, yeah! 
Lane's Arcanine. Oh, man. So if you see here uh, where that energy is, it kind of has like a little bit of a indent, um, but the rest of the card is flawless. So and you can see it there as well, my right thumb. Uh, the rest of the card is flawless. So I was like, man, you know, maybe it's not gonna get a really high grade because of that. Uh, I almost sold this for like a hundred bucks once, and I'm very, very happy that I didn't to see this thing get a nine. Holy shit, <laughs> wow. Sabrina's Alakazam, PSA nine. Um, wow, this card's beautiful. I, I thought this one could get a 10, honestly. I thought this one could get a 10, but I can see now it does have some scratches here, um, and that's probably what prevented it from getting a 10. Maybe the centering on the back as well is a little bit thicker on this right side than it is on the left, but holy shit, this is a beautiful card. Uh, definitely, definitely gonna keep this one. And we are, how many did we go through? One, two, three, four, five. We have 10 left. Erica's Dragonair, ah, oh, just got an eight, um, which is really unfortunate. But like eights aren't the end of the world. They're still, the card is still beautiful. It's still a really high grade. Uh, you can see the whitening down here on the bottom, those little like flakes that are uh, on the blue. But this card is beautiful. Erica's Dragonair has one of the craziest colorings in the background and the, the way the Pokemon's posed and the fact that it's a semi-evolution but it's a rare uh, make this card very, very appealing to me. And if you look in the back right there for everyone who's interested in swirls, it does have a little swirl coming around the back of the Dragonair, which makes it all the more interesting. Next. Lieutenant Surge's Pharaoh. So, interestingly enough, this got an eight. I sent this card out because I wasn't sure what it would grade. It has these like scuffs all around his beak, and I was like, well, um, that's kind of that's kind of bad, right? Like thinking that this might get like a six or a seven, but I sent it out anyway because it was a first ed, and it got an eight. So that's one thing that I say about PSA always is that it's a learning experience. The more cards you send out, the better of an idea that you'll have when you make submissions in the future, right? So now I know that this uh, kind of chalky residue scuffing can still earn an eight, as well as a binder dent uh, based on the Arcanine. Brock's Nine Tails, PSA nine. This is another one I thought could have got a 10, but I suppose it does have a small scratch over the top of his little mohawk there. Um, but wow, this card glows. Like, you need to see this card with your eyes, like with your real eyes and not through a screen. This thing is glowing. It is so beautiful. It is so beautiful. Brock's Nine Tails. Wow. So, one really cool thing I sent out, I sent out one of each um, gym leader card, except for a Koga. So unfortunately, I now have one of every gym leader's Pokemon in PSA, except for a Koga. So I need to get like a Koga's Ditto or something in PSA so that I can have one of each. I think this might be the last gym card. Yeah, Misty's Golduck. So I had an unlimited PSA 9. Whew. I had an unlimited version of this when I was a kid. I actually still have it in my binder. Um, and I know how expensive this card can be in tens because I think it has to do with how hard it is to grade considering the background has that really light white color. Um, so getting a nine on this, I feel like is a huge win. And oh my God, he matches the card. Like, you know, the typings. Okay, so like he's a fire Pokemon, but he's yellow. You know, he's a water Pokemon, he's blue and the card is blue. It makes it pop so much. It's, it's beautiful. I, I don't think I'd ever be able to get rid of this one either. Um, Wow. Whew. Quick break for a second. Now that we made it through all the gem cards, uh, I'm blown away. I I thought that they had chances at anywhere between sevens and tens. Uh, sometimes you just don't know, and it's and it's worth it to take the risk. So I sent all of those out, um, just hoping for the best. And only two eights 
the rest were nines. That's really good. That's really good. Um, I'm very excited to have done so well on those cards. It's very ner it's nerve wracking because I spent so much on them. You know, probably all in all, around like $500 for all of those cards. And now, you know, that they're graded, that seems like a really low number. But at the time, there's no security whatsoever in what the grades will be. I mean, even seeing them with your own eyes, and it's a lot of time that they're out at PSA and, you know, hoping that they make it back and hoping that nothing happens in, in transit. So I'm very happy that those cards have come back with such good grades. So let's jump into the rest of them. I think we have like six left, six or seven left. So let's see how we did. Here we go. This is a Japanese card. If you saw my video on my Japanese collection, then you know how I feel already about Japanese cards. And oh my God, this card got a nine. I am in awe. I so, okay. So this is really sad because I just sold my PSA 10 Shining Mew from Shining Legends and I just sold my Delta Species Mew. Um, but, yeah, oh man, I would have liked to see all three of them together. But holy shit, man. Wow. I bought this card for $30 from a Japanese seller on eBay. Um, and wow. I just, wow. I just can't believe this is a nine. Holy shit. I have nothing to say. This card is one of the most beautiful cards in the entire game. It's so shiny so sparkly japanese only this card has never come out um in english and it's just so so beautiful oh my goodness next card here we go another japanese one and oh my god a psa 10 charizard bro Wow. So, I mean, this is my least favorite Charizard artwork. He looks like a Play-Doh figure, but it's really crazy that this thing got a 10. It did come in a structure deck, I want to say. Um, but, oof. I paid $90 for this card. Um, it shipped internationally. I didn't know what its condition was, really. I took a big chance on it, and it really paid off. So, wow. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. Next, 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 another Japanese card. Seeing a trend here. Let's give him a flip, 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 flip. A Charizard PSA 10. Goodness. Wow, look at those hollow. Oh my God. This card is a keeper for sure. Um, so I also have a for alligator a Japanese for Alligator EX that I think is gonna look great with this card. I can't wait to put them together and get some photographs of them. Um, God. Expedition. This one came from a starter deck for sure. I know I said the other one, I think it did, but this one definitely came from a starter deck, which, you know, a lot of people go, well, since it came in a starter deck, it's easier to get, it's less rare, but you have no idea how those things are packaged. Like, it's impossible to get it out of there without destroying it. You know, and oh, look at that swirl right there. It's like a double, like a double like helix swirl. I don't see that anywhere else on the card. Wow, that's really cool. So I don't know, you know, yes, it comes in a starter deck and you can guarantee that you get it, but you cannot guarantee that it will get a 10. So this is still really insane to me. Uh, I can't believe that. So it looks like we've got three left. Um, and I think these are some heavy hitters. Yeah, ooh, oh boy. Uh, PSA 9 Charizard GX from Hidden Fates. Now, if you follow other Pokemon pages, they probably post this card a lot. You know, this is a newer card, but that does not mean it is any less rare or any less beautiful. Um, a nine, wow, wow. Yeah. So I have the Hyper Rare from Burning Shadows in 9 as well, so I can't wait to put those two together and see how they look. That will be beautiful. Two left, guys. Two left. Oh my goodness. 
Wow. I wonder if this could have got a Beckett black label. A PSA 10 Shiny Charizard GX. Ooh, my hands are sweating holding these cards. I can't express how excited I am to have both of these together. One a nine and one a 10. I don't know which one I'm gonna keep. I will probably only keep one of them. But here's a really good example of the difference between an English and Japanese card. Look at the texture on the wing. On the Japanese one, it looks more velvety and has more depth and dimension. If you look on the back where the kind of like star burst pattern is happening, you can see that there's more layers on the Japanese card. I think overall, the Japanese cards are prettier. Um, they're definitely more appealing to look at, but they're just not in English, so I don't know. Um, this is a 10. I don't know, let me know. Which one would you keep? If you're watching this video, I haven't done anything like this before. If you're watching this video, let me know which one of these two Charizards you would keep. Would you keep the 9 English or the 10 Japanese? Let me know in the comments. I'm really interested to hear what you think the best idea would be. And the last card of the send-off, a PSA 9 Mega Charizard EX. This is a really cool card because my friend Nate, I think for Christmas, got me a box of, of Pokemon cards. It was actually the uh, Island Guardian pin collection, and I pulled this in it, which was insane. Um, and it graded a nine. So thank you, Nate, for uh, an amazing Christmas present, and thank you, PSA, for making this an even better card. Um, a great memory from a great friend. I'm very excited to have this and keep this forever. What can I say, guys? Literally just, wow. That was insane. For the first 15 cards that I sent out to PSA this year, that was, that couldn't have been any better. Everything there was a nine and a 10. There were only two eights. There were only two eights. That's crazy. That's so crazy. Um, I have two other PSA send-offs out right now. I'm preparing another one this weekend. So if you like this kind of video where I show the cards that I get back from PSA and discuss and talk about how I got them and what I think about them, then uh, please make sure that you follow and subscribe to Fried Slowpoke Tale. Um, I, I plan to keep making content weekly, um, so please stay in touch if you have any suggestions. Um, and yeah, that's it. So I'll catch you Slowpokes later.